Katie, can you? Katie, if you moved in closer to Anne, yeah, then I could be. Then you could have a better fantasy. Are we camera angling? Oh, here, babe. Well, here's the thing. Some people. The YouTube camera. It's more intense now. Yeah. Bitch is a really weird guy in the corner. Totally. Wait, wait, wait. It's a cool shot. A YouTube, huh? YouTube. YouTube. Oh, are you YouTubing us right now? Yeah, you. I know you're not really. I, I would have like curled my hair. So People that don't know Anne H. Uh, real quick, she's a Hollywood movie star, uh, <laughs> Hollywood and horror, and she's from the. Oh she's uh, she's one of the last of the Samurais because <laughs> there are no more Hollywood movie stars. You see, there's many, 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 many stars, but mm -hmm. no real. You don't have the thing where you're all alone in this world, being the the queen, the king or the queen of this. Of this thing that you do, there's only a couple of you. Now, just a dime a dozen, everyone's just a fucking idiot. And there's so many untalented people that you no longer can be extinguished, feel wow. better than anybody, because, I mean, who's to say that you're really good at anything when shitfuck is famous for doing absolutely nothing? I mean, I'm not saying anybody's <laughs> name. Whoa! Excuse me, excuse me. Just saying, people out there get a. You, why? It's like a fluke now. I'm a, fl I'm a fossil. Yeah, but. Philosophical? Oh, oh, I'm philosophical. Sounds tasty. I'm a philosophical. No, I do feel like a fossil. I was thinking about that today. It's like, I, I do think it is a different era. Mm -hmm. And as you look back on what the movies and the things that I used to be a part of, they don't, films like that don't exist like that very much anymore. No, no. And what people are doing in the way that they are able to have fame is a very, I mean, we didn't have that many tricks when I was um, rising in the business. We didn't have, we didn't have celebrity names. We didn't have people who, who could follow you on Twitter. I mean, all of the social media things that have changed so drastically, which is, is pretty phenomenal to look at. It because really it does, it, it does affect all the casting and everything else. You're smelling yourself, Jason. Do you Let's make it show. Sure. Well, I've only been allowed to shower for a day. In your life? <laughs> no, I haven't, sh I wasn't, I had that surgery, so I'm, I had to have like a weird towel bath. I had Oh. Uh, I bathed myself like Bubba the Love Sponge for yes. two days. Wash myself with a rag on a stick. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be so I would have liked to have seen that. I still can't touch one of my toes, so oh. that's not cool to put socks on and shit. Yeah, I well, have to. Oh, I, it's really, I, I mean, I feel so bad. I did not know that you were in surgery, and I yeah. would have certainly it's not candy. I don't you think know, it's maybe, surgery. I would have said you can't really candy flowers. Yeah, it was an outpatient procedure, right? Yeah, yeah they it's a good procedure. sucked your spinal fluid out and oh then re injected it into your that's for the, injuries and yeah, yeah that's for the jason l show that you've yeah. got some jewelry on in and it's making me try to look in between your breasts it is yeah why why are you doing intentional that? always oh, okay. intentional like well, you guys you. don't understand like nothing has changed from the time that i left you in my <laughs> sexual life wait wait wait, wait. To now so i feel wait, so you got pathetic. back with your, you got back with your guy didn't you no, no. you didn't no good, good for you, you. No, right. I actually wanted to add, you know, what's funny about it, because it's this very awkward thing now, because he kind of divides us with our son, uh, Atlas, who's nine, and basically acts like such a sweetheart with Atlas, like, oh my God, our family would be back together and it would be healthy and everything yeah. would be perfect. It's only mommy. Yeah. Mommy mm. is the one. No, but you're showing, you're showing that it's not the right relationship and mommy's being uh, responsible by standing her ground and not st uh, repeating the same thing over and over again. Well, you're doing the right thing, mommy. You're doing a great job. Well, listen, thank you. I appreciate it because what I'm saying to Atlas too is, he is we're, in a, we're in a situation that's so much calmer and there's no chaos and nobody's yelling at us. And I'm saying, Atlas, that's these are the this is the circumstance. But because his father is so warm and loving, and tell mommy I love her, it's a really ridiculous mm. situation right. for him to be in the middle. Men are very pathetic, though. It's yeah. pathetic. Yes, we're it very is. we're very pathetic. That's not fair. Oh, men are very pathetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More so than women. Well, I mean, don't get it, don't get it twisted. You're pathetic, but <laughs> we're we're very pathetic because I mean. We just should be less pathetic than you, just based on like, uh, you know, uh, most of the time things are easier. Uh, like I keep having this reinforcement of I'm stronger than you are. Mm -hmm. So yes. why would I? Why do I? Why am I such a biatch? Because I am. It's because men are. Yeah, it's men because you weak. internalize all your emotions. Yeah. But what do you think would be the strong thing to do? I mean, what ego, for that's him what. or anything because of the ego. And I wouldn't worry about. I wouldn't worry about your ex at all. I would just be doing be your peaceful house yeah. and running that game. And you can't. To my, I, I would never say anything about mom or dad. I just think it's really weird when people. I think. I think it's, it's very hard not to. But I also feel like you know when you're saying it that it's probably not a good idea. Oh, absolutely. Oh no, absolutely. And I had a couple of friends come in. Uh, you know, I've turned forty nine since I last saw you a week ago. Oh, happy birthday! Thank happy you very birthday. much. On May twenty fifth. 
Did you rage? And so I read. My friends came in from Santa, Santa Fe. She did rage. Shooting, and I really, I have been partying for three days. God damn How it. do I look? You look refreshed. <laughs> I do? Uh. <laughs> okay, more drugs. Uh. No, honestly, my friends came in and we were, yes, and my niece and nephew, which are wild bell, who I hope to. I hope you guys can come and listen on Friday night. They're playing, and I will tell you where. Wait, Wild who's Bell playing what? My niece and nephew are a band called Wild Bell. Did you know that? Wait, you did they know? You told me that. Oh, yeah. Okay. They're very good. They're awesome. Maybe, and they're playing I thought maybe you night. did drugs for three days and started that band. <laughs> now, that would be a better story. I be. wish that were the case. I didn't I, di- I didn't sing uh, with them this weekend. Although, we were standing by the pool a little bit singing. So, you're, so you're not fucking still? It's so bad. Like, I really don't even know. Like, a guy hit on me last night. We were at the Sunset Towers, you know, bar. Mm-hmm. And the creepiest guy was hitting on me. And I couldn't, I couldn't even, I couldn't even believe he kept hitting on me after he told me, one, that he was bored with his life, two, that he was imbalanced, three, that I was like, you've told me two things that I don't, don't want to hear ever from a man who's trying to pick me up. It's pretty horny. But how about, <laughs> yeah, sexy uh, language. And I felt so pathetic because it was like, is this really the first, this is, it was the first bar interaction that I had had now. And I mean, it's been since November 2nd. I mean, it's pathetic. I'm pathetic. You know what's pathetic is that you just haven't come to terms with your sexuality yet. Is you're gay. What, do you think I'm gay? I think you, I've I think, I, I think you, though, I think, since I've been single. I don't I think know. it's, I think it's easier. I just see a woman having a relationship with you easier than a man. I know that like sexually you need a dick. But I, but I feel like no, it's, a good co- it's a different world. It's a different world these days. You can have a dick every now and then. Mm-hmm. Like you can meet a girl where you can be in love, live with each other, and be totally gay. And every now and then you get some dick. Well, wait, what, but hold on. What do you it's think? Like there's this weird thing where you have to be. The gay part is. I just think I see you yeah. happier living with another woman than with another man. I don't think that's incorrect. I think probably so. I think it's probably an easier thing for me to see a future in, just because yeah. in terms of a partnership of just, just less drama. How we like you to would talk, just yeah less drama. How we how the we understanding each other, the immediate understanding that you would have with each other than the I didn't get that right thing because yeah me me myself and Katie are always I don't understand because I'm a dude. I my dick gets in the way and I'm like. You, you, I, you, no, you misread that, baby. That's not what I was saying. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah. But I was like, if I was a girl, there's a lot of arguments that would never happen because I would have That's I would have understood right. that immediately. Mm-hmm. Yes, and but here's a question: because I have I've engaged with uh, conversation, and of course, have absolutely no issue on whether or not no, one do I need a relationship, but if that would how that would turn out if I was with a woman. And the question that I have about it falls into exactly what you're talking about. It's more about that it truly is about the sexuality and is there a passion? It, is the female-female sexual interaction something driven by a passion that I happen to enjoy, which is a masculine, um, a, which is that fire that happens, <laughs> which is ignited upon the male and female coming together. And it is not the same kind of sex when you... I'm, and I'm not saying this about every woman, I was going to say because I feel like passion. you're fucking the wrong chicks. I mean, it, Ellen DeGeneres, no offense, I never fucked her, but... That's Ellen like was the, the best. Well, Ellen was an incredible lover. I would fuck the shit out of you way better than her. Well, I think every man <laughs> thought so. No, well, that's different. A lot of men think a lot of stuff, but I'm usually pretty right. Well, at this point, I'm really ready to take you up on it. <laughs> Please borrow him. <laughs> Katie, can I take him away for a second? <laughs> consider me a, a private gun. You know, <laughs> I mean, I've said I draw the line, and we work together. And nobody, I can come in. I can come in with not. a bag over. I'll do. I'll, just, I will. I will be. I'm not me. You just be a different. You dude. will get what you want, and then I will leave. <laughs> That's yeah. it. I want to even sex in a bag. Whatever you want, and then <laughs> I leave. You could just cut the crotch out of a wetsuit. How yeah. can I? I've, I've heard of we religions can, who do that. I will buy a house and punch a hole through it and put my dick through it, and you can meet me on the other side. <laughs> Bang it out. <laughs> maybe it wasn't me. Maybe it wasn't me. Taking a white wall. Yeah, oh, that's it. Come on in. It's our kind of bathhouse. Secret COVID, like, you know, secret emails, codes, and it, it's like a maze, 20 minutes to get to this room mm-hmm. where there's a dick. It's like it's, a, it's, it's, really that I get to go through a whole game. Yes, Find that's the other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, Take oh my the god. Wall. There's like a Mexican dude in a trench coat. You're like, oh no, please. But it's that's just a setup to make you nervous. <laughs> I just hide him to make you nervous. You got to go down some other room and through mm-hmm. another thing. And it's then... like saw, except you come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the end, you just get a sweet fucking. That's it. Yeah. No, you don't <laughs> fall into a bed of syringes or anything like that. <laughs> oh just, my god. just you come, and then that's it. You leave. Perfect. The Mexican guy's gone. Can I keep returning to the same house? Like if, it, if I like no, because where's the mystery? Well, okay. The so next time, that. you get a text message at three yeah. in the morning. It says, "Meet me at this telephone booth." <laughs> 
You know, I would not mind that sexual hey, relationship, I know. to tell you the truth. You know, it's standing in the telephone booth and cock, cock like a cockatoo five times. And then my dick will come through the phone. And then a guy... And then <laughs> <laughs> the, receiver. <laughs> the receiver comes off the non-existent <laughs> telephone booth and now it's a dick dick. I am a phone oh booth. God, You're in me. <laughs> I told you you wouldn't recognize me. That's right. I'm a phone. Oh my God. <laughs> so, yeah. So, sure. Well... I, I, I feel like we need to go out and get you laid. I know, really? I, yeah. I know you said that, but it is so awkward. You know where you could get I laid? I've actually realized how shy I am too. Like, yeah, I'm but not not with us. If you hang out with us, okay. Then yeah, we'll I meet. Then we'll meet. Out. Then there'll be a, yeah. We'll mob out at like mm-hmm. uh, we'll go to that place. What's that stupid restaurant? The near near the Abbey. That restaurant. There's tons of like do like that's I saw so many hungry bitches in that there. That sounds oh. so awful to me. I mean, I'm getting uncomfortable. T- I don't know if I'm uncomfortable or if I'm getting what. Here's the thing. I'm oh. shifting in my chair. <laughs> what does it mean? It means you want some. Is it starting to get me excited? But it really, I mean, it's it's like lame. I what, about, what about what about what about this? What about what about this? What about what about if I was organizing a, a room where I could have a bunch of cute boys oh God. and some girls yeah. and a, a mistress in charge of the room, and you could do whatever yeah. you wanted with them, and they could do. And, and if you didn't want to, called the Bachelorette. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's only one room. And there's no, like, everybody gets some. I've never watched a bachelorette, so maybe this is the either. same thing. No, no, no. I'm just saying I could organize. This is where it's a room rent. for me where I'm like, where basically, it's like a You could have like sex with some boys coffee? and some girls. And, and, and At the same time? Yeah, if you wanted to. If you wanted Jesus, to. Ellis, are you out of your fucking mind? Or are I you going to walk into people that, say that room? I mean, I... Maybe, again, I, I think I should. I mean, this was a private. This would be. I, this like, would be a private. The way I'm doing it isn't working. Why so. wouldn't you try this? This it, sounds bad to you. No, it. it I'm scared shitless. Yeah, I mean, of course. But I'm well, saying it's a room with people who are going to have sex with. No, you don't no. have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. But you just look at them. Yeah. Yeah, Talk but I've never had them. a one night stand, dude. Um, oh well, you God. don't want one. She's never had. I've never had one. This is what That's I feel. Problem. I feel like this is what you need because you have one. Sex as as intimacy and a relationship. And you need to separate that and just have the sex. I know you, you know. I mean, you've lived your life. You've lived a great life. Just have a fucking bone. Act over. Just get a bone every now and then. Yeah. You deserve it. Don't. But, what's this? You know, you're gonna have I a. I think you get a bone though. Get when like, you're like, a, like when If you know a guy who knows a guy, then you're like, look, this guy. I know for sure he's not like uh, a murderer or anything. Uh-huh. So if you get the bone, you wake up in the morning. You know, you know, be like, oh, thanks a lot. Like it's. <laughs> This guy's this guy's got you know two dicks or you know what I mean? I, like it if you get a you normal a trustworthy guy bone. yeah if I'm like look I know this guy yeah if, if you fucked him and you didn't like him the next day there's no big deal yeah no biggie he'll be okay with it yes I'm not looking for a relationship oh, I know but that's athlete. we've been here before I know I'm you want to pull the trigger I'm stuck. I'm, a stuck. I'm admitting <laughs> truthfully I mean I haven't seen you in a month and I have not evolved at all <laughs> did you get a Hitachi yet at least. No! <laughs> she doesn't want to play the game. I feel like she's scared to unleash the beast. I think I, I think I, I think I probably am. I think I probably am. Just unleash it. I mean, I don't know what the beast actually is, nor am I really a. Af- well, am I afraid to unleash the beast? No, I'm actually afraid of having sex with strangers. Yeah, well, I am. I am. I'm, I'll just admit it. Like yeah. it just doesn't. It doesn't appeal to me. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it's. Uh, how long I mean, do you have to know someone before you're comfortable having sex with them? I don't know. I just got out of a 10-year relationship, <laughs> Katie. I mean, so obviously more than six months. Like, what? I don't know. Why don't, we just, why, don't we just, why don't we just have some fun? You know us. We'll have some fun, have a few drinks, dance, whatever. You can make out with her. Little oh couple things happen. I am. You, know, you, know, you, you have a few. Listen, let's say, let's say, let me finish. Sorry. You just have a few, you have a few <laughs> orgasms with friends. And then that's it. What's a few orgasms about that? And then maybe that'll loosen you up to like want to meet somebody out there and do some other stuff. But I feel like maybe you need to, re- you know, just come a bunch of times with friends, and and maybe you like it. Maybe you're like you know what? I would do that again. I'm like, okay, we'll do that again. Or maybe you want to do it with somebody else, but maybe you need to like let release something. Uh, There's something that you've never done it ever. You seem like a very sexual person. I know. How did you not have sex? That's the thing. I'm so I'm confronting in this Ow. really bizarre way. It hurts so much it hurts your pins and your groin. Nice. I think. That's right. I shift. Yeah. The shifting is growing more toward me, audience yeah. of one. Go. The whole audience of one. I'm seeing. This yeah, right I'm now. super not sexy right now. You actually super are sexy right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, you truly, his, your shirt says pirate as fuck, which I, I'm totally into. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, and I like the chains. And it, The guy know, on Grinder offered to pay me for sex. Who did? The guy on Grinder. Did he? I mean, no. Did you say I didn't, yes? No. Well, Why? I wanted to. I'm too crippled to do anything. Oh, oh, he wanted otherwise. me to be mean to him and say, like, weird homophobic stuff yeah. and I was oh, like really? really? Well, he's he's be sex with you? yeah be queer bashed yeah it was really? a, some oh, people get off on I never oh, heard yeah. that before yeah. that's a, well I, I mean I can imagine like some girls want to be punished and they, mm-hmm. that's where there's paddles yeah. and Dirty that happens whore. in a lot I told, of exactly I told Katie that it'd be kind of a letdown for him if he came over and I was just like ah 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 <laughs> like Take it easy, homo. You know what I mean? I'm so sorry. I'm not really Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure how mean I could treat him. I can't even fucking get up there to the door. I spent two days on the on oh, the bed, I just mean, like oh, room service, water, please. Oh, oh, that's so. But they were they were like they knew they the the lady knew me and she was, so that became my friend. It the, was like the the lady that the kept lady bring, was the friend kept bringing the oh. the. Our uh, food. Oh, were you just oh, like, bring nice. it in? Oh. No, no, no. I had to open the door, but she was. They were just so sympathetic. And then this other guy, uh, both a guy and a girl were just like hooking me up. They were trying to hook me up big time. Aww. Oh, God, man, you're right. Can we hold that in my nuts. Oh, they so give like you a sponge bath? Uh, I bled on the bed too. I felt Ooh. bad about that. And girls do it all the time. Yeah, it's true. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't talk about it as much as we do, though. Uh, I do. Well, because for you, it's a <laughs> unique Katie. experience. <laughs> Good point. Katie does like to talk about her period. I do. It's yeah. fun. Yeah, it's yeah. not yeah. fun for anyone. One day else. it'll go away, and I'll probably miss it. I I doubt you will. By the time you get to my age, you're not going to miss your period. Wait, you you're your like period. get out and go. You got a period, right? <laughs> there will be no more children. <laughs> go away. Oh, I'm not having any of those. Oh. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah. Well, I'm. You've already had a couple. Yes, you're worth. Two is enough. Two is. It pay. is. It's not fair to bring any more to this world. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's... A, Especially that's, us. We're fucking destroyers. What I mean, what are you talking about? You personally? Alice. The blood of Alice world? is just here to, to crush you? and dominate. And, you know what I mean? Like, in society where they live in now, you're not allowed to crush and dominate, but just between you and me... Yeah. I mean, I prefer to crush and dominate. <laughs> Well, it's just not, you know I mean? To go to jail. That's why, you're, that's why you're telling me that I should be with I'm just saying, if, if it went crew town... Tomorrow, like I'd be like, all right. You'd be on the warrior side. I'll probably die soon because I'm not that experienced. I spent a lot of years not crushing and dominating, but right. I definitely feel like if I could duck the first couple of years and, and got enough training under my belt, I, I think I'd be a great crusher and dominator. Yeah. It's instinctively in there. Mm-hmm. I don't like. You I mean I? I know, but then on the other side of you, you're a helper and a philosopher, so it's like not if it goes not if it goes crew town. Oh, not if it goes crew town. You're talking about World War Three. Fuck it all, Anne. Yeah, well, I don't know if I, I don't I don't think I'm you can hang out. Of, let's sit around and talk. You about can it. hang I'm, out. I'm, in, I, I, you know, I'm 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 a, yeah. I'm a fighter. You can hang out in my village. Okay, thank you. But you have to have a lot of one night stands. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have a one night a one night visit with with the cinder with, block with whoever I say. Oh, yeah, oh with whoever yeah. I say. Now he's getting done. And I talk like a caveman a lot. I'm like you. You fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> Come back later. I wish that was appealing to find a, find your dick in a wall and then just fuck it and not know who you are. Like I, I mean, I wish I found that. I, I just I, you isn't know? it weird to say that you wish you found that but you can't find that? I wish like I found is, it isn't it a, is it not a lie when you say that you wish you could find that but you can't? No, I said because if I you wanted to, you could just find it. Yeah, it, but you don't wish that. I. You, you're Anne H. You're fucking. You can transform yourself into another person. Yeah, That's your job. Yeah. Transform yourself into a cock hungry whore. Now. Done. Because <laughs> I know like you could do it. How you... much you can pay me? <laughs> That's what they all say. I mean, come on! At some point, I need a paycheck if I'm going to transform. All right, we're going to do this new movie um, that uh, <laughs> Betsy's financing. So it's a pretty big movie. <laughs> Betsy. Uh, wait, I'm oh, serious. Yeah, we, uh-huh. and it's called. Uh, um, is it Rabies Babies? No, it's called... Is called this a new film? Is this Betsy? Is it... Be- Squatch Betsy... Betsy, can you come Betsy, in? Betsy, really? Are you doing... You're going to call it what? I forgot. Squatch or some shit. Here she shit. comes. <laughs> Betsy, you're on. What is happening? You're going. You're doing a movie and he's going to transform me into some sort of slutty hoe. I mean, you're a really good actor, so you should be in it. But what's it called again? Squatchula. Yeah, Squatchula. <laughs> I'm not on. Where, you're on. Where Sasquatch, Sasquatch is in the uh, woods... And a, and, a, and a vampire gets into a fight with him and the Sasquatch becomes a vampire Sasquatch. Ooh, okay. And then comes to the city and, and like, hunts on people. I want to oh. play the vampire. Are you, and uh, did you write this? I don't think we've done anything with you. <laughs> oh, we've this done is a, just we've an done a, performing. We've done a lot of Betsy, you 
God. I, I was in the street is a little bit more developed than that. Yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it okay, is. It, is. it does it have is. a treatment. I, I have a treatment. Mm-hmm. Here's your treatment. <laughs> and we have we have to schedule a meeting with the the guy from Miramax. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be soon. But you, He's you in can. Jail, but so when you're in it, you're a cock hungry whore. It'll be easy to find. Hey, <laughs> no, you're no, a cock. That was Weinstein. Squatch yes, that's what I'm saying. They're not Miramax anymore. No. What, well, is there a Miramax anymore? Well, they, there will be once Squatchilla gets produced. Squatchilla is going to be the defining moment of this. Yeah. The, well, the, here's the thing. When squat, when I pitch a Squatchilla at my house, I'm wearing, I am wearing a robe. And the difference is. When when Weinstein tried to get you to suck it, the yeah. difference is, oh, you'll be sucking it. Oh uh, yeah, the difference is you'll make me. You no, know, no, the difference is you will want to, because I'm incredibly attractive in my robe. I'm not hideous, I, and we have a better a relationship. I would I would hope that we have a better relationship than uh, than Weinstein or whatever his name was. And, I, and both I things made, are true. I made some connections this weekend with you know the possible PR team that works with Ryan Murphy. So who knows? Maybe we can what are you talking that. about? Huh? <laughs> Ryan Murphy is going to do Sasquatch? Yeah, possibly. I don't know. I haven't yep. pitched it to him yet. But, you know, he's yeah, can you not p- pitch it yeah, to him, Betsy? Betsy or if you do, it. <laughs> he has a huge deal with Netflix he just signed. If, so. you can, if you can catch him while he's walking around with his 25 million other shows <laughs> yeah, that he's doing. <laughs> it's different for us, all right? We're not, a, we're not in it for the money or the fame. Yes, 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 I see. We're in it for it's all art. 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 The, the, art, art. Of the, the kids need to see the heart of the matter. This movie. I mean, when I think about all the other movies that the people see, and then uh, I'm like, you've never seen a vampire have a fight with a Sasquatch, you know, and then no. the Sasquatch try to live as the only Sasquatch in the world who's a vampire. Is it a short or is this a full length feature? It's a fucking movie. Oh, okay, but there are other, you know, there's so, so many it different could outlets be a short. that do so many no. different types. No, this time. ain't no, it could be ain't, a short. No, ain't no candy. It could be a teaser. One mm. pump chump. I go, I go hard in the paint. How right? long was the woodsman? Got the woodsman was sixty minutes. Was it really? I don't. Know. I don't think it was. I don't think it was. I think I I, I support your dreams, Betsy. Wait, it's not her dream. Yeah, no, it's, it's our dream. I'm sorry, I support both of your dreams. She's just, but you're gonna be in it. I, which one am I? You're really. You're the fucking it. cock hungry whore. God, <laughs> nobody listens in here. <laughs> Jesus. She could be the vampire hunter. You only you only described two characters, and cock hungry whore wasn't in it. Oh, well, one. There you go. There's the other one. Yeah, Sasquatch. Yeah, there's Sasquatch. Sasquatch is. Yeah, babe. And we were talking about possibly having like a vampire hunter. Mm-hmm. So you could be. This, you're, you know. Oh, science, you could be like you Buffy. Know, you got the glasses already. So I'm, I'm transforming hunter. already. <laughs> I'm gonna start going into character right now. But Kevin, I think, just won another script award. So we've got. Shut award. the fuck up! Oh, what? Hey, did what you is really? What talked about? Man, this is such what the view mean? right now. In what, Kevin? Okay. You're okay. Kidding. Okay. Hey. 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 Wow. Okay. Could you write the script for fucking Squatchula, you fucking asshole, two-time nominee guy? Two-time and every- nominee, every- well, nominee. everybody else on the show is not nominated for writing scripts, and we need a None script. Of us are. <laughs> right? Kevin. And th- and then we got we could brag mm-hmm. about how he was nominated and shit. And then Anne, you're like a winning. Hero, bitch, and you're in the movie. Award winning. I see my next decade. Right? Yes, it's just all about awards. <laughs> Go ahead and <laughs> squatch the sequels. Yes, squ- that's what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> once you hit, it can keep going and going and going. You know what I mean? It's yeah, what about Avatar? What about that, uh, the skinny bitch with the whack tits in the shark movie? <laughs> oh, don't, how dare you? Tara. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blake Lively? No, oh, Tara. Okay. Who's Blake? Oh, Terry. That, yeah, that did not go well up. for Tara, though. No. Did it? I mean, did, what happened yes, it did. after? She flourished. Well, if you're a junkie and you get more money, then you become more of a junkie. That's not yeah. nothing to do with success. We're talking about if we, if if Squatchula becomes giant like uh, Sharknado, yeah, we're we're doing a, t- a ten year run of just like <laughs> flying around world sign and autographs. Oh, Sharknado <laughs> guy. Yeah. Oh, we're Squatchula guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I saw her coming out of Soho House the other day. So. That's surprising. What's Soho House? It's a like a fancy private 
It's like a members uh, only. She has a lot of movies she's already produced. You you don't even know she's a member of Soho House. She's in Soho House no, with I'm Tara friggin' Reed, man. Wait, is that a, a rehab or something? No, no, it's a club. Uh, no. It's like up on the top floor of some building. Yeah, it's like a $30,000 a year to it be a member or something. No, it is not $30,000 a year. It's like, it's, it's like $3,000 a yeah. year and then you can go and, and schmooze with a whole bunch of other people who want to schmooze with Not allowed other. to take photos inside. Yeah. It's for all yeah. like creative, artistic types. They don't right. allow like... You know, lawyers and like Tara. And stuff. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like Tara Reid. Yes. Right. So she's either at least still friends with people that can get her into so. <laughs> she probably got. Well, she got money. And that's how I go in. House, Wait, yes. you go to this thing? No, I bought a few Fucking years ago douche. when it first came here. Totally. <laughs> but that's why I bought one for James. This was a birthday present for my husband. Oh I him wow! A to Soho House like five years God, ago. We're listening yeah. to it, people. You're live right now with the highest level of white. <laughs> superior fucking hookups. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday! Fucking he's an uppity oh, yeah, fucking it's, membership. It's, it was disgusting. It was. We went to the Soho House. I, but there, you enter through a garage. Sit down, Betsy. Way. I really like this whole the view thing. You, you, cool. um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and he and you have to check in at the desk, mm -hmm. and and he they he you know checks in. Are you a member here? No. And they said, excuse me, sir. I think you are. And handed him his card. It was all really great, and I was very generous, and I was an amazing, amazing. <sighs> ex-girlfriend 855 uh, Ellis 41 if any great gift. if anybody wants you, to call the show too. I can't you can't that's you the problem him, though right Only, but then I have to be with him and yeah, now I don't well, so there you well, go no don't worry about it girlfriend. yeah <laughs> unscreen phone calls because we're, we're doing the Jason Ellis show of you uh oh Bonnie welcome to the show Bonnie rumor has it you're uh, you have a question for somebody on the show <laughs> That's the question that Jason keeps asking me. And the stranger and stranger he gets, the more and more appealing it becomes. <laughs> oh, where where do you live? Yeah, where do you live? Are you oh. okay? Okay, you got a chance. You live in New York. Every show. Where in New York do you live? Mm. Yeah. Oh, could be, could be. What are you? You're like? saying you're saying that uh, New York guys are different than LA guys. What are uh, the differences? Top three. Wow, that's yeah, so nah. rare. I know, right? Tell me, <laughs> that's not like any guy. LA, so... LA guys are so clingy after they fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> they like to the spoon and shit. The There's fuck is There's only LA pussy guys around here. <laughs> the thing is, I like to fucking leave. I'm a rare gem. <laughs> <laughs> That's <sound>. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Strong Island. Let me tell you, Ann, you never had something like this before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming in, I'm out. I think you got your answer. Uh. <laughs> And I will tell you, since this is the talk or the view or whatever, going, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I just got out of a, like a 17 year relationship, like, okay. you know, in the last couple of years, got divorced. And it's pretty fun just fucking and telling them to go away. It's a really good time. Is, I like yeah. It. So, yeah. Where do you I'm find Betsy. the Betsy? Well, I just, I'm, you know, Tinder. I'm not doing anything super crazy. But I just, I just got invited to the league, which is some other foofy dating thing that I have to register for and they do background checks oh wait you get invited if you fuck enough people on tinder I know I, I, hey hey hey, hey. <laughs> now, that oh, talk, no. you're talking down about the dating scene on I'm the not, internet I'm not I'm, I really 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 want to know <sighs> do you get like rated on tinder no no, no. I mean I think the more you're on it the more activity you get but no you don't get rated and yeah. the, the the league I think is more of some sort of like background checky matchup type yeah, thing yeah, which yeah, may yeah, be yeah. better for you there is like a celebrity <laughs> what what is it called? Oh, there yeah, is a there's celebrity another one. app for. God, oh no, I'm gonna say this Raya. right now. I'm Raya. gonna say it right now. Alicia Silverstone is one of my very very dear friends. By the way, love her. So death. she's gonna come on the show. She is gonna come on the show. She's yeah. traveling around. She's had American Woman is coming out. She's gonna come on the show. So she, I think. Uh, like put my name in she's like you gotta go date you have to date you have to do this thing and you have to have your name put in i guess no nobody ever called me they never called me back they never texted me back yeah. about joining this whatever the, I it's think probably it's that right. you didn't yeah. send them a photo of your matching like, lingerie did you oh. no i did not yeah, i thought I mean, up. apparently alicia thought that my name might cut it but apparently being a fossil it does not it's not a fossil it's that you're fucking crazy <laughs> people are scared of that 
people are scared that I'm crazy. Yeah, that's why you gotta fuck me. Oh my lord, that'll that keeps put going back to it, but I'm telling you, gonna what's gonna work mm-hmm. out? That'll make it all make sense to everyone. There'll be a psychopathic electricity that will just fire off, mm-hmm. and then you'll become a different woman. You just need to find a nice butch lesbian to turn you out oh for a night. Oh my god! You know what? That's sound. I'm not sure. Uh, Betsy, have you slept with a woman? I have. And it, is this a new since you're leaving a relationship? It is only. I always wanted to do it while I was in the relationship, but couldn't. And I've, I've always right. been a serial monogamous with men, unfortunately. Yes, yes, no, but I have too. <laughs> clearly, unfortunately, I'm like a retarded child now that has come out of a shell and going. Oh, I got, like it's so ridiculous how fearful I am. It's a different world now. And dating, that's for sure. Yeah, it's and very it's just, which like in because it's, is it more fluid though? Well, I and keep having this problem student? where they do keep wanting to come back, and so the that's, women, it, the women love you, the women and the men, and I'm like, oh, I just it. wanted to mess around and you ha- go away. I don't uh-huh. care about anyone's just feelings. Just fine. Women, you need to date the guy that just called in. Because he yeah, doesn't right. want to stay around. I actually had a listener hit me up this weekend. First time ever. Said he was in town and wanted to orally pleasure me. <laughs> I was like, That's Thank awesome. You. Did you do it? Does that mean no. you're going to sing to my vagina? <laughs> no crooner. Yeah, yeah no. I, I, I said I appreciated the offer, but no. Uh, thank you. Well, no. did you like Did you like sleeping with a woman? Did yeah, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. yeah. Done it a few times. It's mm-hmm. all been good. So, yeah, it's, it's fun out there. And it is. there is this whole new world of... I mean, there are some people that get a little clingy, but there are a lot of people where it is just really casual, uh-huh, and you uh-huh. can just kind of like, you know, kind of build a little stable for yourself and <laughs> keep people on rotation. Oh, good! Now I need a stable. <laughs> well, I said they're on rotation. You, you don't have to see hey, every couple like weeks. A horse. You don't have to. You can just have sex with one person. You're getting crazy. What? what like do you Betsy's mean? over here whoring out. Sorry, Betsy, but <laughs> you don't have to do. You can just fuck fuck one. Girl or one guy, you don't have yeah. to like everything yeah. Betsy's doing. Why? Betsy's pretty advanced at this, it seems. <laughs> you, I mean, if you're, you're starting off, oh, yeah, just, just, just meet one person, mm-hmm. talk to them back and forth, hear their humor, maybe sense it. Communication. I don't become you're awkward. Fucking tough with... to fuck. You're really tough to fuck. Well, um, you're just offering me a hole in the wall. Though. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm. No, you might end up looking like a hole in the wall when I'm done, but that's a, oh I'm not offering you that. Sorry, I don't know, I don't know where else. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I appreciate so the bullshit. Betsy sharing with me that she that she's a, a tender whore. Yeah, it was it was an adjustment. I mean, I re, I was faithful for 17 years, right. and years before that, and all sorts of other relationships. So yeah, it was it was definitely strange to kind of think like, oh, okay, this. But that's the way a lot of people are now, so it's great. It's, yes. Everyone's a little more free and open with it. I don't feel like, except for being called a whore or whatever, that Jason just called me. I, I haven't been <laughs> judged. Wrong with that, I though. haven't been judged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you say whore like it's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, right. No, it's it's kind of fun. People I mean, love you definitely got to be careful, protect yourself, all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, sure, let people sure. Know, of course. You know, I have, I have people that I let know when I go out on the date and when I come back because I'm I live by myself, so I could get murdered at any point. So mm-hmm. Right, right. We want to avoid the the sex so, murder. Yeah. So there's. That's Oh, I've been bitten on a date. I've been ditched for <laughs> days. Bitten. I'm, yeah, I got chomped on the arm, like really badly. Man or woman. How, lo- how far into the date before he bit you? We were like having man, drinks. Obviously. Yeah, it was a man. Oh. We were having drinks, and yeah, he went to like sniff my perfume and flip my arm over and chomp me. We talked about. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. He was, he, I, no, he, he, that was an angle. Dating. He went for an angle that you were not a, <laughs> not into. And did you get up and walk away? Uh, I well I, again safety. I was like, okay, this guy just bit me. I'm not really sure why that just happened. He looked a little startled too. He said he wasn't hey, no. sure why he did that. But <laughs> I was like, okay, well, You're it was invisible. nice to meet you, and let's just pick this up some other time. And then we parted ways. Oh yeah. wow, yeah. nice, yeah. nice. And then I blocked him. Yeah, cannibal. Oh, right. God, yeah. So I'd be like, oh, why did I buy that lady? <laughs> Yeah, so stupid. Like a a, awkward. We yeah. were getting along really well up until. Oh, he, you know, he didn't. He doesn't bite women all the time, Betsy. That was just like a, <laughs> a penis. Thing. I hope not. He I, really liked your perfume. I guess so. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes yeah, it was creepy though. I mean, I had big, big bruise on my arm. Damn. Like it, it started coming in almost immediately. It he, wasn't he like a, he been, like really chomped. Yeah, he was gonna murder you. Maybe. Yeah, possibly. Like oh, <laughs> eat you, cook you. He also, out on that date, he heard all about me on the way there from the Uber driver because he was a fan of the show and was listening to the show and the guy was like, no. the Uber driver was like, oh, do you mind if I listen to this? I, I can only catch this replay and 
He's like, oh, no, yeah. And they started talking, and it turned out the guy was a fan of the show. Oh and he told God. him all about Wait, me before I Wait, catch a replay of this show? Yeah. It was well, like, you're in the Uber. I wasn't in the Uber. This is my date on the way there. <laughs> That's The crazy. one who bit me heard mm-hmm. all about me on the way there from the guy who was a... From the Jason Ellis show. Yeah, who's driving the Uber listens to the show. That's crazy. That's super weird. <laughs> yeah, Man. it was very. It was a little like whoa. I don't know. And then I got chomped. It was a very strange evening. Maybe but he that doesn't you happen. He was a fan. Yeah, I don't know. He, I don't, he never weird. heard of the show. He, he probably wanted you to talk about it on the radio so he could listen to it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it was Next? a very odd night. But that doesn't normally <laughs> happen. And most of the time, you can just go and have drinks and get a little lit and fuck, and then they go away. Yeah. So. Oh my nice? god! I can't even nice. look at you, Betsy. You're too <laughs> just fucking people at will. Yeah. <laughs> Move out of the way! You get in my pussy now. Get away! Exactly. Like holy shit, man. Yep, yep. That's basically <laughs> savage out there. Uh, do you it's usually fun. go to their house or did they come to yours? I usually bring them to my house. Really? Yeah. Do you call them a cab? Like when it's time to go, or are you like your Uber's here? <laughs> um, they usually get their own. I didn't know how to do that. Have you ever had that. sex with an Uber driver? Just no. like driving around and then you pull over? No, I have not. No. Not so, sounds like something you'd be into, though. Um, I just Is wonder that a about it. You want me to? You want me to? You want to get an Uber X and no. I'll fucking pick you up and certainly not an Uber. Drive you somewhere? <laughs> no better. I need a better car than that. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. What am I? I'm an Uber Plus. Need premium, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm Uber Premium. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah. pick you up and take you to your, to your movie or whatever it is. <laughs> all the way to your movie. All the way. Yeah. I will drive you all yeah. the way He's going to gonna show up movie. in the pickup yeah. truck and just bang you in the back of that. <laughs> like, be sure you secure the actual vehicle he's going to show up with. That would be hilarious. <laughs> it's like the new food truck. You just arrive and you're like, just there, like, dude, there to bang somebody. That would be really good. Like, get Ooh. on in, let's Ooh. bang away. It's and weird. Then you can I feel like out. if society, mainly women, would let go of themselves, then that could be a, a thing that would exist. Because well, I think a lot, me? I think m- women would love to be able to order a cute guy like Postmates that comes over yes. and you go into the back of the van and it's a nice bed and he fucking gives you a good going over and that's mm-hmm. it. This is an incredible business opportunity. But yeah. nobody, I feel like this you're saying it because you guys are wild, but no other girl would say that this is a good idea. They'd, no, they'd be like, that's disgusting. You just completely contradicted. I'm not wild at all, but I'm actually thinking this is a good idea. Mm-hmm. That's nice. <laughs> well, right, well, then I know, look, I happen to know a service that actually can do that for you. Oh, uh, <laughs> Like, there's a phone number I can give you where you can call Is it, it your phone number? In a number? van. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> well, if you don't have a van. Shut up! <laughs> God damn it! You're gonna fucking rent a van? You're <laughs> gonna get a burner phone? Yeah! Yeah! You call this phone? You call this phone? You guys, you guys, so I was gonna show up with a oh U-Haul and fuck it, with a mattress in the back and just oh pound her out. Oh my God, and it's you? Yeah, well, no, no! I got a mustache on! <laughs> <laughs> At all. It's not me, senores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your that tattoos makes... look familiar. No, no, no I, would, I would have like my clothes on covered. Just pull my dick out. The wetsuit again with the hole cut yeah, out. Yeah. I pretend I'm the singer of Living Color and just pound it out in the U-hole. <laughs> and there's nothing about <laughs> the U-haul pound. The U-hole. The U-pound. Yeah. You pound me, I'll pound you. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Honestly, would there be ladies that would do that? Yes, yes. I, I think for sure. There's been an uptick yeah. in women hiring male escorts. I mm-hmm. just read an article about it recently. It there sounded great. Been. I was like, yeah, I should do that. Because it's like we've heard about the happy ending for so long. Guys can go to any parlor and they get jerked off. Well, women now are starting to be like, wait, hold on. I can be jerked off, too. Yeah. I'm a sexual. Like, what is going on? It's but not I think there. there is a new. I, I think a lot of women would go like, yeah, I want a massage and a happy ending. Get mm-hmm. on over here. I've tried, and they just don't. Yeah, they don't? Yeah, they don't. The They're not interested, mm-hmm. huh? They won't do it or to the, the girl. they can't. It's like they don't know no, they, they won't do what it to the girl. They jerk me off, and they won't jerk they won't. her off. Is yeah. that for real? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Are, are they men or women? Mine was a woman. She wouldn't do it. I mean, I was like, uh, uh, and no, no, and she, it was it a masseuse who came to your house? No, no this we was went like to the we sketchy, went to... sketchy ones where they yeah. jerk you off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, where are they? She, not that I'm writing it down. They won't jerk you off. <laughs> it's have a dick. It's isn't ridiculous. That crazy. It's a fucking insult. That's oh, like I'm getting a massage and I want to come at the end of it. 
Oh, I'm not a lady. What? Why? What? Wait, 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 are, all well, po- are all women police? I think really what it is, though, is that most women don't know how to jerk off other women. Yeah. I mean, what, that's I would, pretty real. I would, uh, I mean, the guys oh, are so yeah, used yeah, to understanding yeah, yeah. how to jerk it, but yeah. women are, you know, it's Everybody's not hard to figure different. out, you but I don't are, think women do usually figure out how to jerk off. You guys are a little more complex. Oh, we are. We're it, all it, different. It takes I mean, some more effort. The dick mm-hmm. is kind of... I mean, I, mean, you I saw. Pretty much work your way around it. You know, I you can figure you. out how to get you the, a dude there. One time, a, a lady jerked me off with a, like a assist, like an, an intern, and was <laughs> teaching the other lady how to jerk <laughs> me <laughs> off while I was just sitting there watching this thing happen. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. A training day. There yeah, are classes day. like that, but women go <laughs> over and they do blowjob classes for other women, mm. like a tea party. It's so, but oh, you, you know, they do. They, they, they the do craziest that, thing not... is, and I've never done this, or maybe I have, I just can't remember, but the only time I can remember is when I came, I farted. <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. Thank you for the first, thank you for the f- first sound effect of the day. Thank you. Full release. <laughs> I think it was more like this. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That was like this. Yeah. That, was like that. that sounded like a nose blow. Yeah, I was like, oh, man, what are you getting uh, Oh, the farts. I'm like, it's not like she's going to, I mean, and the, and the other thought, I thought, well, at least I'm somewhat attractive because I feel like everyone in here that you you might be given happy endings to might be you know, I mean I'm Oh you very, can I'm imagine very, what they're used to I'm looking at. I'm just super clean as well. Like if it, you mean like all my stuff is sometimes I see people in the Korean spa where I'm like mm. oh they got stinky nuts and you know oh, I'm like, oh, I'm, like oh, no. I'm like you got stinky nuts even if you like just came out of the pool. Mm-hmm. And, ew, why are they hairy? Like what makes them so stinky nuts? I don't know. Just some people look like they don't do that. Some people have true. a musk, you know? Some people just have a natural musk to their body. Yeah. Hello, Raymond Cole, you've called the <laughs> Jason Ellis show. <laughs> Hello. Don't be scared. Yes, hello, you're live on uh, uh, Love and Hate, H, sorry. Yeah. yeah, Love and Hate. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Got a question? You, you can hear yourself, you fucking idiot. Give yourself a medal. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody wants to call the show... Sounded lost in a box. ...has a question and doesn't want to hear themselves in their car stereo... <laughs> <laughs> Eight five five. Oh wait, oh wait, that's what he was doing. He was yeah. hearing himself. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's that's like a parakeet funny. looking in a mirror. Not, yes. Who not, are you? Who are you? One call. We're blown up. <laughs> one guy called to see if he can, hear, he himself can hear himself <laughs> through his truck radio. Listen, we've been on a bit of a hiatus. Eh? Hello. Oh. Eh? Am I me? <laughs> <laughs> Five, five, we have been 41. on a bit of a hiatus, but I have to say, it's really nice being back because these are the funnest conversations. I just have so much fun. It's so much better than sitting alone in my apartment and writing. Right, what are you writing? I think I'm going to write a one-woman show. I love it. That's awesome. Yes. Oh, the, another announcement. I mean, I'm sh- I, not that you guys follow my career, but The Brave did not get picked up, the show that mm-hmm. I was doing on NBC. And that's a, it's very sad. At the same time, I would have been out of the country for six months and my life would have been a, a complicated thing to do with my family you know it was it was complicated but also wonderful and however the gods were going to have it is how it was going to roll out mm-hmm. but um but i do think that i'm i'm ready to start going into start going into theaters and start performing one woman show start talking about it. i was at amfar i went to camp film festival now it's about a week and a half ago i guess maybe even two and um amfar as you know is the number one organization that raises money for aids research okay and I was a survivor of AIDS because my father was one of the first guys to die of AIDS in 83. And when I was at IMFAR, I started realizing that talking about that story until that uh, disease is eradicated is something I need to do. So I'm going to start writing a show. That's fantastic. Yeah. Hello, okay. you're on Love and Hage. <clears throat> What's your name? Otto, what can we do for you? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. So what sounds good? Yeah, yeah. yeah so what's... far, so good. <laughs> what's the question? <laughs> As far as far as selecting the person, mm, okay. There you can do like a couple's account on Tinder, 
and you know basically just be right up front about what you're looking for or there's an app called three ender that you can get on that is for couples and polyamory and stuff like that where you can find somebody that way if you don't already know somebody that would be comfortable with entering in that i mean obviously if you had a friend or something that could get complicated if you're not sure that they're ready for it or your lady's ready for it but definitely talk to the person a lot make sure that they actually are into having sex with women because sometimes you can get somebody that just wants to fuck you which is cool for you but you definitely want to make sure that they're like into your lady maybe even more than they're into you yeah Uh huh. So let her pick the lady then. Oh no, no, no! You need to, you need to be like, look, I want your input on this. Like, what do you like? What body type? You know, hair color, whatever. Like, really, like, try to get her excited and involved in it. Because if she's just doing it for you, like, I don't know, it's kind of icky. <laughs> or maybe it's her easy way of saying that too. I love your advice, Katie. And especially yeah. if you get involved, then you're even going to have more fun. It's yeah. like the precursor to the precursor. Like yeah. it's great. You get to have fun choosing the woman together mm -hmm. on the website that you were talking about. Yeah. Engage in it so that it's not it's not awkward. The more open you are with her about that, it seems like the better luck you're gonna have. If you do end up hooking up, make sure that you bang your wife way more than the girl that's the third person. Very good advice. Definitely, yes. like She's got to be the star the whole time. Yeah. Especially if it's her first threesome. Like, just, I will you know. say, though, as having been the third person in some couple stuff, don't make the third person feel like they're some sort of hooker. Because I get that a lot. Oh. It's like, oh, I can't kiss you or I can't do this. Like, there's this like list of like hooker rules that come Who are you? Oh, which is the, the person who's going you. on? I know. You are finding out so much about Betsy today. <laughs> No, kiss. but but so they try to delineate this. They make a wall between yeah. the person who's the uh, the extra and themselves. Yeah, like and there's it's... some intimacy walls or something. Like no right. kissing right. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's not so fun. So the right. website actually has changed its name. It's called Field now. F E E L D. It's an app you can download, and then you just like upload the pictures of yourselves together. But yeah, I really get her involved. And um, there you go. Be nice. Definitely. Nice. Good nice. luck, dude. <laughs> That's so exciting. <laughs> 855 Alice 41 Love and H. Hello, you're live on the show. <laughs> nice. He likes the view. The spew. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly why. Because um, one time I heard myself talking about it on a replay and it made me cringe. <laughs> so I feel like I really like the things that I do in the bedroom, but I feel like when I talk about it, it just kind of just sounds like I'm talking about how many cars I have in the garage or something. Wow. And it makes me, it makes me cringe. Well, sometimes if I feel like it's a really funny thing but i'll definitely leave the the stroke of the boat out of it like i mean i just i mean it's like if, if i i'll leave the fucking part out if there's a funny part where there was fucking then yeah just because I, I i i'll tell you that i know that there, there, there was a day where i heard it and i was like Ugh, shut up jason that's and one of the reasons why i can't well, listen to the show we would always say listen to the show but i can't Listen to me talk. It, it makes me cringe sometimes. Yeah, me too. Do you remember what it was that you Just said? Because I think that's really, I, I think that's really interesting. Do you remember what you said that made you cringe? Yeah. What it was about. Um, I think it was. It was Brian based. Callen and, and and Brendan Sharp asking me about. Oh. Fucking people, women. They were really goading you on for details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were. I remember that day. And it seemed self-aggrandizing, or or you were. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't just sort of... I, I, it's a bit gross. I'm very... Uh -huh. I, wow. I, I, I like it. I mean, if I'm talking to somebody else that 
likes it, sure, but I... Uh, I don't know. I feel like um, if everyone's well aware of what a deviant I am. I don't need. I don't understand how like if, if I just did a in depth story about how much I want to bang everybody in what way. I, I, it's not fair. I, no one needs to hear that shit. That's my opinion anyway. Well, I guess we gotta go. Amazing. No need to count the veins on your dick. Oh. <laughs> we'll be back next week, everybody. Yes, we will. Um, thanks for listening. Yeah, thanks everybody listening, and don't forget, Jason L show starts in five. Ow. Ow.